This one's called Railroad Bill, but this is not the Railroad Bill that you might remember from the 60s. This is by a fellow named Andy Breckman. Well, Railroad Bill was a hard living man. He used to take his women two at a time. And everyone agreed he was the baddest engineer that ever driven down the Santa Fe line. His name was known from the folks back home to the tippy top of Telegraph Hill. And all the little boys, and they were sneaking cigarettes, they used to dream about the Railroad Bill. Well, one day Bill was walking along. He saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what was the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. And Bill said, no, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna climb up no tree. This is a stupid, stupid song. Ain't no folk singer gonna make a fool out of me. I said, one day Bill was walking along. He saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what was the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. And Bill said, no, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do what you said. This is a stupid, stupid song, and as far as I'm concerned, that cat can stay there till it's dead. I said, wait a minute, Bill, you can't argue with me. For God's sake, I just made you up. I got the pen in my hand. I want you up in that tree, and I want that cat unstuck. Bill said, no, I hate cats. I ain't gonna climb for no cat. He said, why don't you have me save a beautiful girl who's been tied down to the railroad tracks? I said, maybe it'll be ruined the eighth or ninth verse, but right now I want you up in that tree. I'm the writer, goddammit. I got the pen in my hand, and you're supposed to listen to me. He said, you asshole. Why should I listen to you? You should be listening to me instead. I said, I'm a railroad man. If I was real, I'd separate your face from your head. You ungrateful broody cried, you pushed me too far, I gotta show you I can do as I please. So an earthquake came and shook the whole terrain and it brought Railroad Bill to his knees. And then a tidal wave broke and everything got soaked and Bill was almost completely washed away. And then a big green monster from the planet Neptune landed and bit Railroad Bill on the leg. I got the pen in my hand, I can do what I want, I'm a bright young talent on the rise. So get your ass up that tree or I swear you ain't gonna get out of my folk song alive. He said, you don't scare me. You might be funny, but you don't scare me. And if you don't leave me alone, I swear I'm gonna tell everybody where you stole this melody. But before he could speak, his tongue fell out and he could not make a sound. Suddenly he jumped on top of me and he grabbed me by the neck and he pulled me down to the ground. And he hit me in the stomach and he hit me in the face real hard and I think he almost broke my nose. Just then a lightning bolt came out of nowhere. Hit him right between the eyes and killed him instantly. <laughs> well, the cat came down from the tree, had a bowl of warm milk and went to sleep for the night. Railroad Bill is survived by a wife and two kids. Dear God, I love to write. 